Welcome to the Padilla Poll. I'm Jeff Power on PSquaredSports.com. Joined now by Scott Linoff, the head coach over at Cibolo Steel. You've had some success over there in the last few yes, years, haven't you? Yes, I know Coach Jinx is now over at Texas Tech, and you did a fine job last year. Tell me about uh, just what that offense and defense, in special teams for that matter, what you guys accomplished last year and how that can translate into, you know, building off that success this season. It was a good year. You know, uh, not, not as good as we'd liked, obviously, you know, at Steel high school I think we've kind of set the the uh, the expectation that you're playing in week five you were playing in week six no matter what and uh, and to not get there was a little bit of a disappointment but our kids played extremely hard were uh, uh, did it did an outstanding job all year and uh, um, offensively may have been one of the best offenses mm -hmm. I'll ever coach sure and uh, defensively I think we camp a little bit short and uh, and hope to get better this year well, let's start with that offense. LG Williams, your quarterback. I mean, he's headed to Texas State University, but what he brings to the table is someone with strength and speed. He can run it. He can throw it. He does it all. Yeah, he does. He's, he's an outstanding runner. He's getting even better as a thrower, and he's he's very sharp mechanically, very sharp with his footwork, and uh, a strong leader, um, a kid who on the field, in the classroom, does everything right. Um, he, he's, uh, he's will be the... Uh, the, the spokesman for our team this year. I mean, he's, he's that kind of kid. Um, very similar to the Armstrong kid we had a couple years back. Uh, sure. in the back. And Jalen Harris, your receiver, uh, you've got some good receivers out there. Tell me about them and how they kind of find their way to get open out there for LG. Jalen, uh, Jalen's a former running back who we, we talked to the playing receiver a year ago, and he's uh, he's, a, he's small in stature, but he makes up with it. He's lightning quick and, and lightning fast. and. Uh, um, you know, we're trying to trying to get him open vertically down the field is uh, uh, something we're going to do often this year because he's got that type of speed. So maybe the question is, if now that Justin Stockton's gone, who's your running back? <laughs> well, I don't know how, we, how you replace a guy like that. You right. know, we're fortunate. We've in nine years of uh, of still high school, I think I, I've never coached a, a backfield without a Brown or a Stockton in it, and uh, <laughs> so I'm a little anxious going sure. into this year. Um, to have a kid like Malcolm Brown and you replace him with Justin Stockton for four years. Not many programs can say they've done that. So I don't know if that guy's there. Um, we've got a couple kids that are, are promising, uh, um, promising upstarts that I think have big futures ahead of them. But you don't replace Justin Stockton. He was special, very special. So maybe the key for your team this year is going to be your defense. That kind of sounds like it. Defensively, we're going to be better. And uh, we've got to be better. And uh, you know, him and the collective all effort on offense last year was, was Justin and it was him toting the rock, and, and, and it was his show. And this year, you know, I think we've got four or five guys that kind of share that load a little bit, which, which may give us a little bit more balance, and, uh, and it's going to be fun to watch. All right, Scott Linoff, we do appreciate it. Yes, Good sir. luck over there at Civil Steel. It. Thank you very much. For everybody here at the Padilla Poll, we appreciate you being with us, and be sure to check out PSquaredSports.com.